Hi folks, so I uh, finished my shift and I'm now sat uh, on a big huge giant boulder uh, in um, Hyde Park uh, and uh, I'm absolutely exhausted, I've been up since quarter past four this morning uh, and I've been on my feet all day, my feet are killing me uh, I feel pretty exhausted. It is pretty warm today, uh, nice and sunny. Don't get me wrong, I love it when it's warm. Uh, love it like this, really do. Much nicer. Um, but as you can appreciate, when you've been on your feet all morning uh, and what have you, and it gets quite warm in there as well, actually. It does, it gets quite warm in that shop. Uh, especially because we've got the ovens right at the side of us as well doing all the croissants and, and what have you sort of thing so yeah anyway another good day um, apparently the CEO was asking about me again uh, yesterday because I was doing the angry group yesterday of course and uh, yeah the CEO uh, Clive uh, he was asking about me asking how I am and then funny enough uh, I'm not sure what time it was exactly about half uh, no, maybe about half eight, I can't quite remember. He walked past the shop outside and let on to me, uh, which was really cool. Uh, it was really nice. He waved at me and I'm like, oh, hi. Uh, so that's, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Yeah, so I'm thinking I might head towards uh, St. Paul's, uh, around that sort of general area. I think I'm going to head that way. Um, I'm conscious of the fact that I do need to get back uh, early these days rather than hang around for too long um, because obviously I need to get these things uploaded uh, and oof, you know it's, uh, uh, it's uh, just doesn't seem to be any time left in the day anymore anyway but uh, it's all right it's cool right so uh, I didn't get to tell you guys about the good stuff. Yesterday was a pretty sad day uh, because of uh, what happened in Manchester. Uh, and anyway, so um, to uh, tell you guys the news that I was trying to get to, uh, but didn't get round to telling you. Right, so uh, I've sold another painting, uh, 150 quid, uh, and. My girlfriend Joanne has bought one as well uh, for 60 quid. Uh, John Connolly, my friend, he bought uh, some of those little square ones with the blue faces on. Uh, he's bought them for 40 quid. Um, I think so far that's it. I think there is another one that's being contemplated about somebody. I can't quite remember. I'm sure there was somebody saying that they might be buy thinking of buying one. So actually, <laughs> sale-wise, my art's flying off the walls, literally. Um, so that's good. Um, also, tomorrow I get paid again from Pret. Uh, also, I've sort of sorted out the bank um, you know, overdraft for £100, so I've got that sorted out. Um, and what else was it? Uh, oh, and then obviously I get my universal credit either Friday or next Tuesday. I'm not sure now because because it's a bank holiday and because it, it the way my money works out it falls on a Sunday. So that means that means that uh, it could either be the Friday because they'll either pay a day early or a day after the. Uh, date that I'm due to get my money so I'm not too sure whether they'll pay early or afterwards they, possibly early so probably get it on Friday so uh, for the next couple of days I'm gonna be kind of quids in kind of thing uh, which is nice for a change um, which means hopefully uh, I'm gonna be out and about plus the fact that I've got the opportunity to as well because uh, it's bank holiday Monday uh, I finish this Friday. Uh, no, 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 I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, my manager spoke to me this morning because everybody's getting this. All, all the staff. Uh, we're all getting a day off uh, at various different points in the week. Uh, I think it says something about because it's not 
it's a bit quiet or something. I'm, I'm not 100% certain the exact reasons, but anyway, something to do with that, it being a bit quiet. Didn't seem quiet this morning to me. We were rushed off our feet this morning. Oh my God, I mean, it was Wednesdays. Wednesdays seem to be really busy. Like I said, the Wednesday before was like this. Um, and then, like last Wednesday, for some reason, it wasn't as busy, but today, flipping heck, it was non-stop from like, I don't know, half seven, no. Maybe about eight o'clock up to almost ten o'clock. Do you know what I mean? Almost two hours, two hours solid of just tons of people. Do you know what I mean? It didn't, didn't seem to let up at all. You know, you had the odd hiatus here and there, just just momentarily before another horde of people came in. Do you know what I mean? So it's been super busy today, super busy. So anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so Friday I've got off. Then obviously it's Saturday and Sunday where we don't work then because it's the, the shops close on a Saturday and Sunday. Then it's bank holiday Monday. Then I'm doing the anger group, so I'm not back in the shop now until a week from to well a week today. But obviously I'm back. It no is that <laughs> no a week a week um, or just under a week anyway. A week's time from tomorrow is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so a week's time from tomorrow I'll be off. Uh, so it's going to be a long weekend so that gives me plenty of time to try and think about going somewhere um, not sure where definitely isn't going to be the Paris thing I'm afraid because that's just too short notice and just definitely even now I'm not going to have enough money to do that I don't think uh, that's so sadly at the moment that's still not going to happen uh, I'm kind of thinking about it though it did cross my mind briefly when he said I got Friday off I thought like hmm here's an idea you know long weekend Blah blah blah. I'm thinking, ooh, just maybe. Do you know what I mean? Who knows? Uh, anyway, so nah. In terms of, see, that's the thing as well. Sometimes, sometimes when I, when I've not had a lot of money for a long, long, long time, and I've been really, really struggling, and all of a sudden I start getting a little bit more, um, you know, the cash flow starts to ease a little bit, and I start to get a little bit. Of, you know, it's not like I'm, you know, megadly fame. Uh, fabulously flipping well off all of a sudden or anything, you know what I mean? It just means that in comparison to the fact that like for days on end sometimes I've got no money at all uh, to now having a bit of surplus and when I say a bit surplus it's not like I've got hundreds of pounds surplus or anything, you know what I mean? You know, it just like the odd 50 quid or something or whatever sort of thing so uh, but still, you know, because I've had so little for so long it's kind of like you know, my head does start getting carrying away with me a little bit. It's kind of like, ooh, let's go and do the Paris thing. Because I really want to do that. I really do. Uh, it's definitely on the cards and it's, I'm determined to make it happen this year. Uh, somehow, I'm going to make it happen. Anyway, right, so all of that. Uh, before I forget, there was definitely something else. Um, so that's the long weekend, the money, the paintings. <sighs> you know I can't even remember now anyway so yeah I'm gonna try and get over to central no not central uh, city of London is where I'm trying to head to now um, because like I said uh, I haven't been over there for a little while and do you know for some reason I have no idea why because I was thinking of actually going to the science museum it's only just down there you know it's walkable uh, take me about 20 25 minutes or thereabouts uh, to walk down to the Science Museum uh, and the Natural History Museum but I've been there a few times and and I suddenly started realising as I was walking down towards there uh, you know I don't really like this area or this part of London that much you know the park's pleasant enough don't get me wrong the park's nice and all the rest of it you know park's a park at the end of the day and you know some are nicer than others and this is a nice park obviously but um, it's just this general area, especially out in the main high street over there. Do you know what I mean? It's that's like um, Knightsbridge and and all that lot. And, do you know what I mean? I don't know. It just I don't know. For me, it's and I don't think it's necessarily just because it's an affluent area or whatever. It, it's as like I've said this a million times before. Uh, go check some of my other um, uh, vlogs and stuff, and you'll hear me say how. Uh, I'm very very sensitive to an area and the vibe that it gives off whatever you want to call that whether you want to call that a scientific uh, point of view or 
you know, uh, oogie boogie spooky nonsense or whatever, do you know what I mean? I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is and, uh, you know, I am very big about the way a place impacts on me and the way a place makes me feel. Um, and I think that is completely and utterly individual to the person themselves uh, and to be perfectly honest with you, like I said, I don't know what it is about this area, I couldn't exactly tell you or, or you know, pin it down exactly, I mean I could probably come up with a, 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 a couple of things that were probably the re possible reasons as to why but um, whatever it is, I just don't feel that happy when I'm here but, and yet when I go towards St Paul's and round that area and um, Southwark in general uh, and uh, what sort of like um, London uh, Tower Bridge and all that sort of thing around there for some reason I, I like it and um, maybe it's because that's the first sort of area that I came to when I first came to London I don't know maybe so maybe it's familiarity I don't know it could be um, any number of things but either way it's just that I much prefer uh, I feel so much more comfortable there interesting isn't it isn't it fascinating? I find that fascinating to be quite honest, I really do. I find that absolutely and totally fascinating. Why do, you know, because they're just as interesting places, really. I mean, you've got the museums and stuff, like I said, just up the road, which I love. Um, yeah, I find that really puzzling and interesting. It's like, why is that? Why do I not feel as happy or as comfortable here as I do at, like, Southwark and around that area, you know, sort of. Um, you know, like I said, Tower of London and all that sort of thing and round there. Uh, no idea. So, anyway, okay, so I think I've rambled on enough and God knows if you lot will stay to the end of this flipping uh, vlog or not. Flipping deck, I'm, you know, might be flipping, oh, boring. Anyway, right, so I just noticed this by the way. Uh, wow. So this is like a memorial garden thing. I saw these rocks, you see, I was walking up here walking along there and I walked up onto the gravel thing and I thought oh this looks picturesque and nice and I thought oh I like rocks and you know this all looks like nice and organic and uh, whatever not all, well <laughs> organic um you know sort of I don't know it just looked really really cool uh and then I looked around there and that's what it was right okay enough chit chat uh I'm gonna leave it there for now folks uh and I shall catch you folks later Bye for now. Okay folks, so we're on one of the uh, <laughs> the Boris buses as they call them. So, I like these buses actually. They're supposed to be the, like the replacement for the uh, Route Master, the original Route Master. Uh, yeah, they're alright. I kind of like them. And you've got three doors on these as well, so you've got three choices. You can go in any door as well, that's another thing. It's not like on one door, out the other. Just go on any door you want. Because uh, they've, all, they've all got like a little what's name where you put your Oyster card on. So, anyway, yeah, so... Uh, I was going to go to the city, and I was walking through Hyde Park, and it's a really hot day like I said now. Uh, and my feet are killing me. So, like I've said many times before, I ain't going to promise anything anymore to you guys. Well, no, I'll try, but, you know, like I said, uh, the thing is that oh, I'm exhausted now, to be quite honest. And I just, my feet were saying, like, are you serious about walking all the way to the city of London, all the way to St. Paul's from here? Really? It's like, mm, not so sure you want to do that. <laughs> so... Uh, so anyway, I've decided to just jump to 159 and just head home. Uh, I am super, super exhausted. Uh, I'm really tired. I want to go somewhere else. I do, believe me. Um, it's a lovely day. It's a gorgeous day. And I, I don't really want to be stuck indoors necessarily. I mean, I mean, it's only just turn one o'clock now. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm kind of like... I, a part of me doesn't want to go home just yet, but I'm also really tired and my feet are aching. So I'm kind of thinking to myself, right, we need to go home anyway, because like tomorrow is going to be my last day for the next five days. Uh, yeah, if you include Saturday and Sunday. Wow, it's super dark in here now. Where's the light? I need the light. I can't see. It's super dark. It's funny, when it looks dark on the screen, it actually, when I see it on the big screen, it's not as dark as it looks on the little screen. It looks really super dark on the little screen. 
like almost like I'm a silhouette sort of thing. Um, anyway, so. 159 to Streatham Station. 159 to Streatham Station. Right, so. Anyway, yeah. Um, completely forgot what I was talking about now. Uh, well, yeah, so I've got tomorrow. I'm going to be in tomorrow, so again I need to get up super early. 7am uh, start, as usual. And then that'll be my last day until next Wednesday. So so from Thursday to next Wednesday. Because then, like I say, you've got the weekend, uh, and it's Bank Holiday Monday, and Tuesday I won't be in because I'll be doing the anger group. Yeah, any, any, anyway. Uh, so for me it's going to be a long weekend uh, and so I'm thinking I've got all this weekend, I've got these five days in which to try and go somewhere and do something different, you know what I mean, and get some different vlogs going and what have you. I'm thinking I'm... To Stratton Station. That's really loud, you know. You know, it might not come across on there as quite loud, but when you're trying to talk and then that interrupts you. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm thinking of going to Rochester Castle maybe. So we've been there once before, but it's been a while. Uh, and yeah, I like it. It's all right. It's cool, man. Um, so I might do that. I might decide to go to Rochester Castle. Um, still kind of thinking about that. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be a surprise to you and me at the end of the day. So uh, yeah. So we'll see what happens over this over these next few days. Um, but either way, definitely gonna go somewhere out of London for a couple, you know, for for half a day or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, okay, folks. Um, not sure what else I need to say right now. Uh, just really enjoying doing my work at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. And funny enough, even though we were super super busy today, it was like I kind of like it when it's like that. Even though it's still quite. Circus. Even though it's still quite daunting and quite um, anxiety provoking and I still make mistakes and get things wrong and, and what have you. you know, not as much though, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, so I don't do it as much and I'm starting to learn all the different products and what have you. Um, but um, yeah, overall I'm really enjoying it and I love when it's really busy because when it's busy I don't have time to contemplate and think about when I've done things wrong. Um, like, because like, I've got to move on to the next customer and my boss is behind me, do you know what I mean? My boss is there uh, and I'm making a few mistakes here and there, do you know what I mean? With the cash thing and, do you know what I mean? This, that and the other. And I don't know what he's thinking, do you know what I mean? But he's reacting to me like, you know, don't worry about it, it's cool, blah, blah, blah. But that might be just because of the pressure of the fact that we've got more customers to deal with. I mean, I don't know what's going on in the back of his mind. Maybe he's thinking like... Piccadilly Circus. Um, 159 to Stratton Station. Piccadilly uh, right Circus. Now, well, man. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave it there for now, folks. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.